Hello, my name is Carolina Maria Costa de Oliveira Souza, and I'm a member of the research group of cell therapy and biotechnology and regenerative medicine department at Pelé Pequeno Principe Institute. The article entitled Non-Structured Cellulose Gelan Xyloglucan Lysozyme Dressing Seeded with Mesenchymal Stem Cells for Deep Second Degree Burn Treatment can contribute to the development of more effective treatments for the healing of deep burns. And the study was divided in two consecutive stages. For the in vitro stage, four different cellulose membranes were used. One commercial cellulose membrane, one membrane made of reconstituted bacterial cellulose, one membrane made of reconstituted cellulose with 10% of gel and gun and 10% of lysozyme, another membrane made of reconstituted cellulose with 10% of tamarin xyloglucan plus gel and gun and 10% of lysozyme. We isolated the mesenchymal stem cells from adipose tissue of reds and ground them in culture flakes and on the membranes. A sample of these cells was used to perform their characterization by flow cytometry and cell differentiation in adipogenic and osteogenic lines. We determined membranes aesthetic and hysteresis contact angles and tested cell adhesion, proliferation, and migration capacity. In vivo tests, we used all four membranes with and without mesenchymal stem cells. We submitted Mr. Reds to a deep second degree burn protocol, and after 48 hours, we debride the wounds and applied the membranes as dressings. We evaluate the healing process obtained, comparing histopathological analysis of acute and chronic inflammatory infiltrates, vascular proliferation, epitalization of the scar area, and collagen deposit. The result represented in the graph shows that the membranes with gelangan and xyloglucan had better rates of adhesion and proliferation. This was because the inclusion of these additives made the membranes moderately hydrophobic and with a rougher surface. Cells were able to differentiate and migrate in vitro. In vivo, in red treated with tamarine xyloglucan membranes, we obtained 40% and 60% of reduction in acute and chronic inflammatory infiltrates, complete epitalization in 90% of the subjects, and the injured area reduced 96% in 30 days. In addition, xyloglucan membranes increased collagen deposit. Gelangan membranes promoted a significant increase in vascular proliferation. Mesenchymal stem cells were detected in burned tissue, confirming they homed and proliferated in vivo. This study indicates the potential to explore the bacterial cellulose membranes, blended with gel and gun, tamarind, xyloglucan, and lysozyme as one dressing. Cell therapy associated with the use of non-structured cellulose, gel and xyloglucan, lysozyme dressings was effective as a treatment in deep second degree burns. This study needs to go to a clinical stage in the future to make possible the use of these membranes in humans. Thanks for watching.